I'm Zaram Daniels, um, chairperson of Blackie's Hope for Health and also um, Ward Committee member for Ward 106, which is falling under the city of Cape Town. You are, um, you are presently inside of Blackie's Dorp, which is situated in Delft, Cape Town. What is very special about this day is it's our father of our country, Madiba's 95th birthday today. Um, this library was, was put up here last year on Mandela Day, so it, it is very significant because this is our library's first birthday today. It is also falling on Madiba's 95th birthday. So this is, that, that is why this library is very, very special. I'm Andrew Gasnola, I'm the chairperson of Boundless Hearts and the coordinator for this Mandela Day project, which is a call to action. The idea was, you know, establishing the container library in this community because there's nothing. And Design in Daba, Cecile and Boyds and SAB were, were eager enough to sort of make that dream a possibility. Design in Daba came today for the children to participate in a workshop where they did drawings in, of Madiba's face, they did a colouring of We Love You Madiba and all of that, which we are from Blakizop side, we are very grateful to Design in Daba. Before, before this library was put up, we had our children playing around doing nothing, going into drugs. They had nothing, absolutely nothing to do. They didn't have a place to do their homework. They didn't have a place where they can, if, if they, you know, children is also going, it's also under stress day, where they could come and sit still and think about life as it itself, you know. So the library has changed that. Like, the positive side of the library, um, our end of year school results last year, it was about more than 15% increase in, in, in our children's pass rate. Presently, um, we have Antonio Swat, that is, that is our librarian presently, but with the help of the community, you know, he's, 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 each and every day he's here by the library, doing all kinds of projects with the children. I'm Antonio Hilton Swat, I'm the librarian at Blickestorp Delft Library. I've been here almost a year now. And I'm not just a librarian, I'm also giving aftercare classes for the kids that want to learn better to improve their, their classes. What's special about the library, two things. The library, it's now, the library today is precisely a year old. Last year with Mandela's Day, the 67 minutes, this was with the garden on the outside uh, introduced and it's now been a year here today. And what's special about the library is the only library in Ward 106. Believing it, that there's two big libraries in town, but they do not fall in Ward 106. So this is the only library that, not, not just cater for Blackistore, but also for the greater Delft. That's why we cater for Delft, up to into gateway kids. They also come from outside in, do some work and do some reading. So most of the books were donated by CWD, a Catholic welfare organization. During the day, before the kids from the primary school kids come, I say to the adults, they can come in and read for their own kids. Those that are preparing to go to school, there's a mat, they can come sit and read for them stories, a lot of stories books. Not just reading books, there's also after classes. I help them, I let them do their work. If they struggle, I see where I can assist books that they can't read, where they ask me to find out, make a way. If I have it here, to let them have it. Study guides and everything, that whatever. Big ones, still even up to the trick, I help. Whoever wants to be helped, I'm here to help. He's working with children, trying to help them, or children that can't even write at this present time. He's helping them. These children who can't even read. The library's motto is for the, for the people, by the people. So if we here, we're not just here for us, we're here to enrich your kids and to give your kids an educational boost. The greater community is, is more involvement in, in, in the community, in things that we are doing to empower our, 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 our youth in, in itself. And, and I'm talking about youth, I'm talking about from when a, when a child is five years old or two years old, you know, try to empower them, make them better leaders, you know. That is what, what we want from the community, is to, is to help our children, you know, because they are the future. You can put a thing on paper, but unless you put it into practice, it will only stay on paper. But a design was put on paper and it was put into reality, and now this is the reality of the design that was put on paper.